For hundreds of years, people have flocked to a promise, to live a dream, to live their hopes, to raise a community. They have braved the storms and tread the waves. Today, they come still, braving the odds and withstanding the elements. The entrepreneurs, the driving force of the American economy, standing on the edge of a vision, on the cusp of a dream, at their side. $40 million in investments. Joel Klein presents His Tank, an immersive business experience where valuation and sales take center stage. Problems are exposed. But that's a problem. No. Partnerships are formed. It's the American dream, and it means business. Hi, I'm Otti Fruchter from Printed, and we use Fidelity just because they're the best. Hi, my name is Joel Schiff. I'm at the World of Goodies, and we use Fidelity payment services for our credit card processing. We love Fidelity, great customer service. Whenever we have an issue, my agent is there for me literally 24 hours a day. Hi, everybody. My name is Draghi Gabio from Provident LED and we use Fidelity Payment Services for our car processing. I gotta tell you, the transactions are seamless and we're a really happy customer. Hello, my name's Martin Colt with Active Inhalation Products. We are, uh, you could say, customers of uh, Fidelity. I would say we're very happy with uh, their service, their support is phenomenal, and uh, we're very happy with uh, their rates, and overall, uh, I'm very, very happy customer of uh, Fidelity. Hi, my name is Yossi from Yossi's Carding and We use Fidelity for our payment processing. It's an amazing company. They give you great customer service. I really, really recommend them. Today, we meet Isaac Yakubo and Ellie Ofel. Hi, my name is Isaac Yakubo. I'm the CEO of Leah. We want to change the game in healthcare. Revamping the doctor-patient relationship. Isaac was born in Samarkand, Uzbekistan and came to the U.S. as a one-year-old, while Ellie is from Netanya, Israel. Meet Isaac. Just a little bit about myself. Uh, I am an author of The Ultimate Medical Mnemonic Comic Book. It's a comic book that you help, it helps you learn medicine. I'm, I'm a board review lecturer for Kaplan. I do um, uh, lectures globally. Author of Medical Mnemonics Comic Book is a lecturer for Kaplan. It is the co-founder of the FlipMed app while Ellie is the owner of Allure, a custom software and marketing company. I'm usually the backstage. I do things in the back. And is the developer of the FlipMed app, as well as several other innovative technologies. And I developed the FlipMed app, which is, by the way, is uh, uh, accredited by the medical board, meaning anybody who passes it gets 22 or 20, 20 semi credits. So it's like, it's legit, this app is... With a combined background in medicine and tech, Isaac and Ellie make a powerful team in a rapidly evolving field. The best thing about the SBA Loan Group is it truly lets you be a better lawyer. And by that I mean it gives you the assets, the opportunities to take on those cases, those projects which you could not fund through your everyday practice and allows you to do it in a way that makes sense for where you want your practice to be. I can tell you many stories about cases that I looked at and said if it wasn't for SBA Loan Group and the opportunities they gave me through funding, that I had to look at the case, think it was a great case and pass on it. But what SBA Loan Group really allowed me to do was look at an opportunity, grasp it and know that it's going to make me a better lawyer and going to make my practice better so that in the future the whole process works out much easier. We're Leah, we're a lifestyle brand, all right? Um, we want to change the game in healthcare. In the process of working on the FlipMed app, Ellie woke up feeling sick. You know, Isaac told me, listen, uh, let me come check you. After I went to a doctor, I waited 20 minutes, a whole nine, and he came to my house, I, drink, I was drinking coffee at the time, and he just did the thing, uh, the coffee's still in my hand. 
the back, the throat, the culture, everything. He told me, you don't have flu, you have walking pneumonia, something else. So he gave me the medication, prescribed it. He came to my house through the pharmacy before I finished my coffee. He went, before he left, I grabbed him like this. I told him, what, what just happened? I don't need to go to the doctor anymore. He told me, no, that's what you treated. So we stopped right there. We're making another uh, company. That's just uh, Leah in a little uh, nutshell. Like, where did this idea all start? Yeah, it happened from the house. Sure. I've been working in the emergency room for five years. I also worked in the urgent care and in neurosurgery. I saw a big need in this. Every time a patient came to the urgent care, because I worked, I worked for Go Health Urgent Care, every time I was in the urgent care, the, uh, the executives or whoever you want to call them, right, the big guys, this was a retail business. It wasn't healthcare. We don't care about the, the client. I'm just saying this straight out. It was a retail business. They were all about patient to provider time, patient to door time. That's it. So they were on breathing down our necks. When the patient walks into the door, you need to see him within 10 minutes, all right? I have four rooms. I have a patient with chest pain. I can't see him within 10 minutes. That guy takes 45 minutes just to get a history and an EKG. Right? And then they're counting how long am I spending time with the patient. They had a set time, 15 minutes, 10 minutes, and get them out. Why? The more people come in, the more money you make. With Leah, the providers get paid per visit, regardless of the amount of time it takes. And we give them bonuses. If they get five stars or 10 five stars, they get a 10% bonus, and they're very happy to do the work. With further incentives for the providers to give the patient the attentive care they deserve, it seems like Leah has it all figured out. That's how it works. If you, let's say you called, you, you know, used our, our services and you called for a visit, right? Uh, the, it's extremely simple. You go on our website, right? There's an intercom. You make a message. There's a person that answers you. They set up a visit. Within one to two hours, someone is at your house. All right, so the brand, we do home urgent care. What else do we do? We do home primary care. We do IV services. We're trying to now take over the health care market uh, or health plan market. We don't call it insurance. Uh, we call it a health plans. We created our own plans so that we can scale it. All right, that's the big question everyone asks. How can you scale this? You can have a one-time visit. No, we're offering our own plans. This takes things to a whole new level. We have three different tiers of plans. We have a silver plan, a gold plan, and a VIP plan. What makes our plans different is that, you know, the legislation changed. Uh, with Trump's new law, you don't need health insurance and you won't get fined for it. So what's happening, a lot of millennials are dropping their health insurance. Why should I pay $12,000 a year with a $9,000 deductible, right, and not use it, or use it when a truck hits me and still need to pay 20% after my deductible. But it isn't only the millennials who are frustrated with their health care. One of our businesses is just IVs. People are not calling because they're sick. I have a hangover. I need an IV. The elderly might not want to leave their homes, and with contagious diseases making their rounds, parents think twice before bringing their young ones to germ-infested waiting rooms. And that's the trend now. People don't want to go to the hospital because they're dying. They're getting misdiagnosed. The third most common cause of death in America, John Hopkins came out with a study, is medical errors. And so Leah tries to fill the void. So, Leah tries to fill the void. Our plans are simple. We cover primary care, we cover urgent care, which is 90% of what people use their plans for. And we also cover, if they get the VIP plan, imaging. We cover MRIs, uh, CAT scans, ultrasounds. And then we have different tiers of services. Provider comes to the house, he does what he needs to do. All of our providers are you know, equipped with a bag that has everything an urgent care has. We have our own medications, we have our own rapid uh, tests. We have, um, we partnered with five x-ray companies, they do house in-house x-rays. We partnered with five different sonogram companies, they do in-house sonograms. And we're partnered with a bunch of different, uh, you know, those mom and pop uh, radiology offices like Zweiger and, uh, um, what do you call it, um, Neighborhood Radiology, where they give our clients a low rate. So the way it works is that the client goes to Neighborhood Radiology, he gets an MRI, they charge us the lowest rate and we pay for it. So because they're under our plan, we just take care of it. And again, because we're giving them cash, we're paying them 
guaranteed, they're willing to lower their rates for us. With insurance, you need to fight them, you need to get approval, sometimes you never get paid. In this instance, we're paying you no matter what. So, who does Leah target? Is it only those without insurance? It seems there's more to it. People that are insured with crappy insurance. They have high or, deductibles. Or high deductibles. Or me. Great I have a $9,000 deductible. deductible. I drop my plan. Why would I pay uh, $8,000 a year? Not only that, for employees, we had a meeting with uh, um, a so senior let, home yeah, so with over 3,000 uh, employees. Forget about the patients. Now we're targeting that. employees. That's employees, the next thing we're doing. He has well, 3,000. He brought us down to 80 or 90 something. That's $270,000 a month right. to cover him. And we, for, we one guarantee business. one visit. I'm on, got it. With passion, power, and thorough industry knowledge, what are the entrepreneurs looking for now? There are two ways. $5 million for 10% of our company, or $2.5 million for a 6% convertible note and 20% discount. With a valuation of $25 million, this startup promises major returns. But in an industry fraught with legalities... Legally, you can't do that. So that's a problem? No and at risk of lawsuits. Who's liable for any malpractice? Will the moguls trust Leah's health? Coming up in the next episode. Biz Tank. Selling dreams, funding futures. Catch us live.